Hello, you probably know me as the Disney enthusiast and citizen of Arendelle for Life, Matthew Avery. Now for his colorful videos, talk about all things Disney. Well, we're going to still talk things Disney, but it's going to be different. After hearing about a case of a stolen Disney animatronic from Epcot known as Buzzy, I decided to assign myself to the case in order to find who and how Buzzy was taken. I have drawn up a few possible theories into how the, the, the beloved Epcot attraction, Cranial Command, and Buzzy, and how he was stolen from his rightful place in the abandoned attraction. I am Matthew Avery, and I am the Disney Detective. I decided that in order to figure out who would have taken such a beloved Disney animatronic, I decided that it's about time to do some research into who would do such a thing. Way, way back in December, when the news of Buzzy broke out, I bought a pamphlet. A little bit ago, I decided to draw up some theories on how and who would take to such a beloved Disney animatronic. And now, I must tell all of you what my theories are and if they are plausible or not. But before, before anything, I did some research. After looking at my theory book, I decided to hit the web in order to find a few things, few things that proved to see my theories were plausible or impossible. Theory 1. Somebody cleverly disguised himself as a Disney worker or a security guard. I, I saw some research on, on how what a Disney security guard uniform would look like. And I figured maybe somebody would have just bought what the uniform uh, or look alike and put a, put a secu Disney security badge and sneak into Cranium Command without being noticed and take Buzzy with supplies they brought with them for the task at hand. Last thing you would need a Disney name tag. After some deep thought and research, I have decided that it would be impossible for this theory to be, be completed. Because it, the perpetrator would be noticed because Disney security knows each other very well. And they would know everyone. And they would notice some Disney security member that was off task. And it would take a miracle and a, a whole lot of work to design a Disney security outfit, outfit or a Disney cast member outfit. As I was tumbling along on my computer looking for ways of how Buzzy was taken, I had a moment of clarity. I grabbed my Disney theory book and I looked at my second theory. As so. Buzzy, the Buzzy kidnapper could have stole Buzzy by going through a back way by car and used tools to remove Buzzy. I did find a way to get to Crane Command as well as a light where Crane Command was, is. It's not well monitored since it closed. Someone could have stuck in unnoticed. With tools, solving removed Buzzy, sloppily removed Buzzy, stash him in a trash can or something else. Sneak out unnoticed. After some deep thought, research and thought, I would conclude that this theory is highly plausible as it is most, the most likely of ways. But if one does a lot not monitor as much, someone could have easily snuck in, kidnap Buzzy, and live an alternate, leave, leave an alternate route 
of Nina List. It's a high of a possibility that is, it can be easily pulled out if the person committed this crime planned accordingly to take the fiend to cranium commando. Plug will not be pulled on this theory, as it can be pulled off. As I figured there only be two theories of how much it could have been taken, I decided to go to the next set of theories. Who would have taken the famed animatronic Buzzy? I, I, I drew out three possible suspects. One, an avid addict of Disney, which is highly possible as somebody did not want to see Buzzy put to waste, sitting asleep forever in cranial command. So in the deep love of Disney, the Disney addict could have Snuck into Cranium Command, cut the wires, and take Buzzy home for a way to remember the Cranium Command and the wonders of life. And to also keep the animal tribe in good condition. This theory is approved. And plausible. For a possible Buzzy kidnapper. Not that I'm pointing any fingers. Theory number two could have been a Disney cast member. I'm not, I'm not pointing any fingers and I'm not trying to be rude. But... Disney cast member could have thought maybe in the way we care that an animatronic would disappear from a faint, from a defunct animatronic. So they decided to take it home with them. And I figured this may be a good piece of evidence. And the cast member also a cast member could have wanted some Disney memorabilia that would cost nothing to them. Once again, I'm not trying to point fingers at anyone. Even though it could be possible that a Disney cast member took it home just to keep Buzzy for safe keepings. The, the theory would not be unplugged, and it is a possibility of a way of Buzzy getting taken from his rightful place at Cranial Command. Theory 3. It could have been a black market collection seller. I can see it now. person looking to make some big bucks off of some big, big ticket item like a Disney animatronic. So the black market size snuck into Crane and Queen, cut Buzzy's wiring, and, and took him to sell for a, a good amount of money on the black market. To work in kind by authorities to sell this business quietly. This is so I'm using a disposable cell phone. I was some deep thought I decided that it, this would be a highly suspect in the venue kidnapping. And black market, any black market seller will be, do anything to put some money in their pockets. So they go and take Buzzy for a chance to make some really big bucks. This I consider to be the highest possible theory. And I am not unplugging it, no doubt about it. But any person in their right minds who would do who, who do something this sinister to make a few extra bucks. And to upset the entire Disney Fanbase forever. Right before I made this video, I looked up on YouTube and then I saw that in January 2019, a Disney urban explorer by the name of David Ensign claimed on the Cinema Marty's podcast that he had contacted Disney Insiders and discovered that Buzzy had never been stolen, though his hat and coat were. Legally, urban explorers were frequently taking selfies with Buzzy, like they would take, so people were constantly taking selfies with the famed Buzzy animatronic. But there was a small problem. Buzzy was mounted dangerously up high above a mechanical pit in the stage. Inside explained that facility operations had quote-unquote stolen the figure. And here's what he had to say. And I quote, they had an order to remove him so people wouldn't hurt themselves by sneaking in there and climbing on the sets. Unfortunately, nobody told operations or security who found it missing and assumed he'd been stolen. Disney made no end quote. Disney made no official comment on the matter. After I heard about this news, I decided after watching the video and seen this key bit of information I had decided that it was time to write in my journal that it was officially time to close the case of the missing Buzzy animatronic 
as he was never stolen at all. Stolen at all. He was just instead removed for the safety of all urban explorers just wanting to have a selfie with the famed Cranial Commando from Cranial Command. It's, uh, I'm actually taking a sigh of relief as now that the case is closed. We know that Buzzy is probably somewhere at Disney, safe and sound. We know he will be happy wherever they f decide to put the famous Buzzy in him trying. As my theories could have been true, the facts don't lie. Buzzy was not stolen, but his clothes were. And I want everyone to know that whoever took Buzzy's clothes, that I beg of you to return them without much difficulty, because you will eventually be found. As for now, the Disney detective Matthew Avery, as he writes in his journal, it is about time for him to put an end to this case. As we know, Buzzy, the famed animatronic for Cranial Command, is safe and sound. As for this case, it's going to be hard to do it, it's, I'm really happy that it's over. And for, all, for the Disney detective Matthew Avery, he only has two words to say. Case closed. Hello everyone, I'm the Disney enthusiast and citizen of Randolph Life, Matthew Avery. Now, I am actually pretty glad that we now know that Buzzy was actually stolen. We just know that urban explorers were just trying to take selfies with Buzzy even after Buzzy's clothes were reportedly stolen. Were reportedly stolen. But, but Buzzy, he wasn't stolen. He was just removed from Cranial Command. Because Urban Explorer is trying to take selfies, Buzzy is mounted dangerously high on a stage set. And people and people at Disney thought we nobody cannot get injured here. So people so I believe it was I'll call Disney maintenance. Went to Cranial Command cut the wires, and removed Buzz, removed Buzzy. It's just a case that simply they just forgot to notify security and that Buzzy, that they removed Buzzy. And people were thinking that, oh my God, Buzzy was stolen by someone. Now we all know that it was just a case of mistakenly forgetting to tell people that we removed an animatronic. You know, actually in my mind that uh, it was actually made pre pretty much pretty good sense that Buzzy was stolen. People all thought this kind of what Disney's doing. Some no way would Disney want to cut the wires that slavily. That's what I thought too. Basically now we can take both all of us can take a big sigh of relief saying Thinking, now we know that Buzzy is somewhere safe, probably in Disney storage. We're not sure. What, biggest question is, we're not sure what Buzzy they're going to do with Buzzy. But all we know is, Buzzy is safe, and he wasn't stolen. It was just a case of mistakenly forgetting to ask. Ah, uh, okay.
Okay, folks, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up as that really does help me out. And if you want to go check out my other YouTube videos, go check out the Disney Enthusiast Imaginary YouTube channel and go check out my podcast. I'll po be doing uh, a video on a podcast episode on what is supposedly the first look at your present 2. And I'll be doing another podcast episode about Toy Story 4. And remember. And remember. Oh, I can't do it. Basically, remember. You know the words. To keep calm. And keep Disney on. For all you Disney lovers out there, I'm the Disney enthusiast and citizen right now for like Matt Ravery. And. The Disney Detective Matt Ravery. I'll see you in the next episode, my friends. Uh, apologies for the hard to see text. My Insta my Twitter is Matt Avery Disney all in caps. My Instagram is Matt Avery of Arendelle all in lowercase. Hope to see you in the next episode. May I'll do a detect another Disney Detective case into why Cranial Command was so unexpectedly closed.